how to just make a simple box, UVW unwrap it, put a simple texture onto it, and then get it into the source engine as a prop. It's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. It used to bug the crap out of me, um, but thanks to various help from people on the team here, they're always great help. And you know, trial and error as well myself. You, when I couldn't get any help because they were all asleep because I live in England and stuff. So anyway, so what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the box and draw out a box. You know, to make it the same height. We'll make it um, just make it about 50 by 50 by 50. Now I'm going to use a little tool here to import my model, my reference model. But I will include this reference model in the files that I'll be pro providing to the um, right of this video. So just ignore this part. I'm just using this to import um, a model. Um, where's it going to be? Desktop. I've made a lot of. I su suggest that you do this as well. So you don't need that anymore. To be honest. Um, I suggest that you go to your source directory and right click on your name and you know make a, sh a desktop shortcut. It saves a lot of time running back and forth. You know, okay, let's see. Documents, models, humans. Yeah, I was going to make a, um, a tutorial using the model of a friend of mine. It's, you know, he said that I could use it, but I thought, you know, that, that doesn't really prove that it gets in from start to scratch. So, I just thought I'd make one from scratch. It was kind of him to let me use it, but I thought it wouldn't have been very fair on you guys. Okay, now this is how big things will appear in Hammer. Now, obviously that's too big. Press F4 so you can see the lines. Now click your box and just, you know, make shrink it down a little bit until you're happy with the size. I'd say that was good enough. Yeah, that's how big your character will appear in Hammer and the game and this is how big the box will be compared to it. Do this with any model that you make otherwise it'll be way too big. When I first started doing this I made a model and it was huge compared to the, it was it was massive, the guy was like an ant. But this is a brilliant size reference because this is how big things will, will be in Hammer. Anyway I'll shut up talking now. <laughs> Click your model. Now the main thing to do is make sure that it is centered to the world. Okay so make sure it's centered zero zero like that okay now right click it and for arguments say we'll just call it um I'll just call it congrats because I'm just gonna write congrats on it <laughs> like congratulations you've got it in to source okay now right click it and convert to editable poly now click on this actually no that everything seems fine in size Go to the modifier stack, modifier list, scroll down, unwrap UVW. Now, it's odd, I've actually, you know, give me a second here. Okay, make sure that none of these are selected, otherwise it won't work. Make sure that none of them are selected. Again, modifier stack, scroll down, unwrap UVW. Put this little um, X button here, face, or press 3 for a shortcut. Control A, that will make everything red. I know that a lot of you may know how to use a UVW unwrap, but you know, there's an unfortunate amount of people that, you know, it's unfortunately there's a, amount of, a lot of people that don't know how to do it. So I've just clicked on select um, Control A, edit. I just go up here, mapping, flatten mapping. Now, I will state that this, depending on what you're doing, this isn't the best way to use a W map, but for for this object it's the best um, quickest option. Now you have all your parts here. Okay, click on the top. Okay, that's fine where it is, I think. Fact. Let's just move these around. Just make sure to keep everything the same size. The great tip is to press M for materials. Um, then this little button next to diffuse and just turn check it on. Then just apply that. Like that as you can see and then what, what we want to do is turn the tiling down to 10 by 10 okay as you can see all the boxes are the same size you want to make sure that that stays constant throughout the entire model 
okay just make sure that they're, that they're all the same size otherwise you're going to get one texture that's bigger than another and it's just going to look screwed up okay once you've done that and click this box next box here which is here and drag it under there as you can see just press number two for edge selection these two edges connect together which is this edge here so just press three again and line them up as best you can like that press f2 so you can see the checkers so as you can see that turns that off press f2 and then press one for vertex drag your mouse over these two vertices and press control and w that just welds everything to, that just welds them together now rotate to rotate hold down the um, left alt button and the middle mouse button and move your mouse around press 3 again select 3 select this which this bottom box here as you can see on there so 2 and it's here now drag it and as usual press 2 this edge matches up to that one and press 3 line them up press 1 drag your mouse over it control w but as you can see one two three vertex edge face you know just to there are a lot better there are a lot of better tutorials out there for you for w mapping but i just thought i'd prove to you that what i i'm doing works from start to scratch i don't want to don't need to feel like you've been conned somewhere along the line okay press three again which so we've already done these ones and then select this one here which is obviously um, press number two to see which one this connects to. Okay, um, press three again, and then go to tools, um, flip vertical, move it up, press two again. As you can see, see what you want to do is what if you see a blue line on your model, you want to see what connects it together. Like I said, just I don't. I mean, I I would give a more in-depth tutorial on how UV, UVW mapping works, but um, that isn't the purpose of this tutorial, is it? Really, you you just want to get your modeling game. Like I said, just to weld the edges together. Okay, now we've got these two boxes left, which are the left, which is the right, sorry, and the left. Just a moment. Ooh, I'm running out of time here. Um, watch part two. I'm just going to restart in part two. Okay. Watch part two.